Here you see the uh, properties of scalar waves. If I compare them, mm. maybe in, in Europe, uh, it's, it's, oh, yes. Um, you see, that's uh, Mike, Microsoft uh, problem. Uh, <laughs> um, if, you have, if you have a transmitter and a receiver and field lines in this way, the, these are long tunnel. That means uh, they uh, propagate from plus to minus, from minus to plus. In this direction, we have the electric field pointer. In this direction, we as well have the uh, speed uh, of the wave. Here on the right side, can you see it? It's very, uh, uh, not very strong in the lines. The, li the lines of the electrical field pointer are uh, just round. They, they move around the transmitter. So this is uh, only part uh, of the power that is uh, receiving the, uh, the receiver. So uh, the fields are scattering, we have transmission losses and so on. But on this left side with the scalar wave, uh, the uh, field lines are focusing, uh, bundling up at the receiver, and so they have no losses. This is what Tesla said, that we have no losses. Uh, everything is collected at the receiver. Um, it could be even more if you collect another transmitter in your environment. Um, we have a positive use for the transverse wave. As we know, the radio, information distributed TV. If there are millions of people listening to this uh, transmitter, I think this is a positive use. But if I want to phone only with one person in the world, only with one person, it's not necessary that millions of people listen to what I say. They, th that means that uh, uh, the, for mobile phoning, this scalar wave would be the right one. And for energy conversion, I think uh, uh, this, this is energy and the energy is uh, received. So uh, if you want to use it in this way, this would be a positive use. A negative use, um, on the right side would be mobile phoning here. This is a negative use. It's the wrong wa wave, you see. Um, I would say this wave is not allowed to use in this way as we are using today. Because uh, you touch all the private rooms, the sleeping rooms, and so on. And I don't want to have them in my room, in my private room. They have to remain outside. And this is a real problem, a main problem. Uh, so this is the wrong wave, mobile phoning, and uh, what, you don't have it as well? Or, um, may I reformat the screen? Let me reformat the screen. Yes, you may. Uh, um, and we'll see. Um, we give, grant me a moment, sir. No, 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 no. Stop. We, we back again, back again. We'll go watch the poll. No. Please, please, back again. I, I, I take a line out. Uh, only, only one line out of it. You have to it. Here, you have to. You see? Only this? Each of. How? Yes, <laughs> there it was. Okay. So, we always have to do everything by ourselves. So we can see what the. Oh, oh sorry, are. sorry. Um, back. You accidentally pressed the, the mouse button? Just a little bit, get the mouse, and then go back. Are you going to go back? Okay. Good. Directional radio. Well, that's nearly <laughs> the same as mobile phoning. Um, uh, and on the other hand, the negative use for uh, scalar waves will be if the receiver is a human being. Uh, and not a technical receiver. As long as you are using a technical receiver, you have no negative effect, effectiveness because the technical receiver uh, get all gets all field lines and there is no rest. So if the human being is the receiver, then we speak about electrosmoke uh, or uh, even radiation weapons. As uh, Tesla has spoken about uh, radiation weapons, about dead rays he has spoken. So, there is an effectiveness of um, scalar waves 
um, to, to biological systems. That's clear. Let's have a look at the wave. The electromagnetic wave is very famous. Uh, the properties are well known. And you see that this uh, wave is propagating with speed of light. Uh, it is a transverse wave. And uh, so the field pointers are perpendicular to the um, direction of penetration. And the third point is very important that the phase angle between electric and magnetic field pointer is zero. That's a special effect of electromagnetic waves, as you see, oops, as you see here, here that if the one is zero, the other one is zero as well. So uh, they have just the same, the sa same uh, field angle. Uh, if I have a look at uh, the books uh, we, we have on, on school, it's a school book, it's a school book of physics I had as a, as a boy, you see, the Grimsel German, very famous German uh, school book. Uh, it's explained uh, how the fields uh, are uh, with, a, with a dipole. Here you have a dipole and and you see the electric fields uh, like this, and the charge carriers are on top, and if they are moving, then we get the magnetic fields, that is 90 degree later. And then we get the opposite charge, and so on. And th This explains that next to the antenna, in the near field zone, as we call it, we have a phase angle between electric and magnetic fields of 90 degree, as you see. You learn at school. That's not. Uh, that's well known. That's well known. Everybody knows that we have 90 degree. But you you have learned before in, in the slide before that the electromagnetic field has a um, phase angle of zero degree. So the result is antennas are sending no electromagnetic waves. You have to know. This is if you think consequent. And well, this will be a problem.